Welcome to the White Aho Show. Welcome to the White Aho Show. I'm Ryan Reagan, and today's guest is Marianne Ahrens, director of Lucky's Place, Star Valley's Animal Shelter. inside this is our inside kennels we have small kennels like this all of our kennels were donated every one of them somebody donated them they got their name plate on there we have big ones on the other side for big dogs and we've got they're in here when we are not here other than that they're outside but they're in here where they're safe everything's done and they like their kennels so this is our kennels all this food here is food that was donated. Every bit of this was donated from pet stores, actually Teton um, Pet Animal and Tractor Supply. They donate food to us that they can't use and it helps us immensely or we have to buy it. So the dogs are in here. This whole place is pressure washed. It's cleaned, it's swept out, cleaned every day from top to bottom. So it's clean for the dogs and it's safe for the dogs and healthy. That's our most important thing. Come on down the hall. Come on in for our, this is our cat colony. This is where our cats are. These are all the cats that we have in here. And we have some that are, these are our workers. Those aren't cats, those are our workers. But these are our cats that we have in here. They're inside kennels. We have some outside. Some of them go outside through our little trap door outside. It's all enclosed. They could go out there and spend the day. We also have a nursery, and our nursery is for our little kittens, and they have their own room. Can you, can you take us in the nursery? Sure, this is our nursery. We just hope they don't all run out. But this, is, this is our nursery with all of our kittens in here. They're in here during the day. So they have a good time. Oh, you're not coming out. Meow. They're pretty happy in here. He's got some long tufts of hair. Yep. They're uh, uh. pretty happy in here. So the cats are in here. People come and they see our cats. Mm. They can, we give them a tour of the cat room. But right now, every kennel we have is full. And we have also an overflow room for all the cats that don't fit in here go in there or the isolation room. This is our cats. Okay, this is our isolation room. This is where the cats come in here when they are just found, someone surrenders them. We make sure they're not sick. We keep them in here and they're safe in here until they get spayed, neutered. But we make sure they're all well before they go to a new home. This is our isolation room where we hold them in here. This room's also used if the um, county sheriff picks up dogs. We used to put them here, now we take them down and put them in a in pound in the dog room because we have too many cats. Come and get a cat. When you come to Lucky's place, this is the first place you're gonna come. And when you come here, you're going to come to surrender an animal or we hope adopt an animal. So you come here, fill out an adoption form. Dogs are $100, puppies are 125, cats are 50. And we are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But if you can't make it those days, we'll make an appointment and make sure you get in here to see the pet that you want to take home. We are all about getting the right home for the right pet and the right family. Thanks for coming. Okay, Marianne, welcome to the Idaho Show. Thanks for being my guest. Thank you for having us. 
Yeah, so uh, you've, you've got quite the story on how uh, Lucky Place began. Can you start us from the beginning? Sure. We didn't have a shelter. I had all the animals at my house. And that went on for about a year. And then um, I rescued two dogs, and it was Rusty and Lucky. They were, one was living in a tire, an old tire next to a trailer. The other one was under a boat. And this was winter. When I drove by, I thought, we got to save these puppies. They were puppies. They were probably about five months old. So I called Jackson. And they're, paused, they're both golden retriever puppies? Both Is that golden right? retrievers. Adorable. So I called um, Paws up in Jackson, and they said, there's a lady named Sophie Craighead that works with golden retrievers. So if you call her, she might be able to help you. So I called her and she said, if you could get those dogs, I'll find a home for them. So she said, do whatever you have to do to get them. We got the dogs, took them to Sophie, and Sophie said, I'll find a home. It was her home that they stayed in. So she, they were lucky dogs, cats. See there? They were lucky cats, dogs. Um, so she took them and she kept them and she came and she saw where I had all the dogs at my house and they said, she said, why don't we get you a shelter? You have no shelter here. And I said, There's, it's impossible. Sophie made it happen. She helped us. It took us about five years, but we got a place and we're here at the landfill, Star Valley landfill, and we leased this little piece of property for a dollar a year. So we're lucky we got a hundred year lease. So we just don't want to lose that lease. So everything we do from then on is all donations or fundraisers to all keep right. going. So, so you started sheltering dogs, dogs and cats personally at your home in 2003. Yes. Right. Yes. And then you met uh, Sophie Craighead, your, your primary donor in 2007. Yes. And then you finally got this building up and going in uh, 2008 and 2009? And we opened it up, we had our grand opening. Okay, great, well that's quite the journey and you, you still host a lot of animals at your home, correct? We take, I take all the puppies or if we're too full here right now we're full, so I have seven dogs at my house. So they stay there and as we get a spot here, they either come here or people come to my house to meet them. Anything to adopt them. Oh, great, great. So, so you operate, Lucky's Place operates, is on 100% on donations, is that 100%. correct? 100%, it's all donations and fundraisers that we have. Okay, great. Can you, can you explain your association or your parent organization, uh, Animal Humane Association of Star Valley? We, we came up with that name in 2003. We started, we had a board, and we got that going, but we didn't have a shelter then, but we got our 501c3 uh, probably 2004. And then from there, we just started taking animals at my house till we found, till we can finally get a shelter. Great. So can you tell the public, what is your operating expenses here on an annual basis? Oh man, I would say it costs us at least 250,000 to almost three a year just to operate. Our vet bills are over $5,000 a month. And then we have finally employees. When we started, I volunteered. Everything was volunteer and we did that for a couple years until we could raise enough money to get employees. And it took a while. It's just like all of our kennels, cat, dog, every one of them was donated. Every one of them. So you've uh, expanded a lot over the years, and uh, I see a lot of human resources on the inside. How many, I know it's a revolving door a little bit with employees, oh, yeah. but how many people do you employ here now? Right now we have about eight employees. And then we have a, a young lady that does our Facebook. So that's what we've got. And then we have our website set up. So where, that's what we work on. Where, where can the public find you on the web? They could go to www.luckies.place and go in there, check out our website. It tells a lot of stories of the animals we've adopted, and it also will give you information about everything here 
for adoption or surrendering an animal, or if you've lost an animal, we take that every day and get it out there. Okay, great. Well, Marianne, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, thank you for your service to all the pets and the, and the people in the Star Valley area. You are a valuable asset to the Valley. Well, th thank you. Our main model is it's all for the animals, and that's what we think. Everything here is for the animals. And thank you for coming and let us share our story. We really appreciate it, and so do the dogs and cats. You're welcome. Thank you. You bet.